Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog coming to you today talking about small towns, big profits, uh, creating a sphere of influence. So if you live in a small town, and, and most people in America do, there's only 46 counties in the whole United States that are considered really big cities. And of course we got you, you, New York, Los Angeles, Miami, you know, Atlanta, which is not that huge. Um, some other cities, you know, on that list. So most people in America live in a rural town. Anywhere from 20,000 people population to 50, right? 50, 60. And so in that town, let's say you want to create a sphere of influence. There's a great way to start. Parties. Meetup.com has a great, 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 great website. And you could just start creating 10 different events. And, and each event be different, like young 20s and 30s in Greenville or Farmville, wherever the name of your town is. Um business-minded people in Farmville, uh, real estate-minded people in Farmville. Uh, you know, you keep naming the ideals or foodies, people who want to try different restaurants weekly in Farmville meetup or you name it. And this gives you an opportunity not only to be like, who put this together? You put it together and you get the email addresses of people or you start marketing to people or telling them, oh, why did I do this? I did this because I'm insurance and I feel like I don't know anybody. But save that part. Don't tell them I'm in insurance and I just want to get a bunch of people. Tell them I just am trying to meet more people in this town. Period. You know, and so that right there gets you two or three or four or five new people every week. And eventually, if you get these parties big enough, you can take it to the next town. I mean, if I were you and there's a near city, I'd drive over to the nearest city and see how someone else's meetup group is. And then kind of dictate yours that way. You can even have a game night. Be like, hey, Farmville game night hosted by Sean, whatever your name is. And on that Saturday, you know, once a week or once uh, two times a week, two times a, year, a month, excuse me, two times a month, you have that opportunity to go, wow, this guy is creating all these events and he is knowledgeable. And at the same time, you're meeting people and collecting business cards and growing your sphere of who is who and knowing people. And so when the opportunity arises for you to say, oh, I also do insurance or, oh, I also deal in real estate or I'm looking for opportunities, like say you're fresh out of college, I'm looking for opportunities. There's someone who is going to be like, this kid is putting a lot of energy and time into this just side project of these meetup groups. He might be a valuable asset to our company. So look at it that way. It's a great way to start. Uh, I would recommend that to anybody who moves somewhere new and they want to build their spirit. I would go start a meetup group, start two or three. And I think it costs 150 bucks or so. I have to double check, but it's just a great ideal and it gets you out there and it gets you meeting two or three new people a day. So this is Erica off the Classy Climb blog. You guys definitely leave me some comments, um, ask me any questions you want, and subscribe to the channel. You guys have a great day.